All right, welcome back. I told you guys I was coming back in a while, but our patents went through and the project is going live soon. So now we can talk all about it. This here is the 401 bot. It's an industrial quality robot that you can build and program. This is the next big leap in the makers community. With this robot, you will be able to create functional product services and automation systems, just like we're currently doing with STL files and 3D printers. We're gonna do that with robotics. So you'll be able to order a robot, assemble it, just like you would a 3D printer, and then create, upload, and download programs just as if they were STL files. Stay with me. 401 bot plus 3D printers, unlimited capabilities. In fact, let me give you an example. I'm looking at one right now. So I went and 3D printed a really simple jig to hold my camera and attach it to the robot. And then I went ahead and created a couple super simple robot programs. And now I have a camera that is on a robotic arm that we can create some crazy effects with. And the best part is that you can too, because now that I have the camera jig made and the robot programs made, I can upload them just like we would if it was an STL file and you were 3D printing, you can download them and run them on your system. So for example, we can go here and let's see. Now that is going to be a common theme for the video, which is the 401 bot plus 3D printers, unlimited capability. So let's talk about the fun stuff. And that is the example that you saw in the intro of this video, where the 401 bot was actually automating the 3D printers behind me. Let's step back. Let's say you have a bunch of 3D printers and you're trying to come up with a way to automate them. Well, with the 401 bot, you can simply just create a program or download one that's already available online and set it up to do it. Now, what's crazy about this is that in the past, that type of process, the automation of a printer with a robot would be extremely difficult and you would really need an expensive, complex robot to achieve that task. Now, why? Well, because you'll run into a bunch of issues. For example, you need to get the robot to grab the print bed. Now, it's magnetic, it's flimsy, and it's going to have a heavy object stuck to it. And it's inside of the enclosure of the 3D printer. That is not an easy automation task. However, and now this is the point, is that with the 401 bot plus 3D printing, unlimited capabilities, we can simply 3D print a fixture, attach it to the print bed, and now the 401 bot is able to go and grab the 3D print bed. Hopefully you kind of see where this is going. 401 bot plus 3D printing, unlimited capabilities. The next complicated task that we will run into is that it requires a lot of force to lift up that magnetic sheet off the print bed. Again, you can solve this with a really complex or really expensive robot or automation system. Or again, we can simply 3D print a little bumper at the bottom that lifts up the bed when it's done. And then, oh yeah, again, the very best part is that I can then share these files and this program with you so that you can simply download it and do the exact same thing. See, the point is that we don't need some Optimus Prime style robot to create functional automation systems. In the same way that 3D printers are readily accessible and that the 3D printing community has already created millions and millions of amazing things that you can 3D print, our goal is to do that with robotics. Now, We've got our patents, we've got a really, really well working prototype that I'm gonna show off for the next little while on this channel, and it's almost ready for production. We're also working on a big library of programs and automation systems for you. So it's gonna be really cool. The best part is, is that the sky is the limit because once the community has the 401 bot in their hands, they can then make and share programs just like we've been doing for the last couple of years with 3D printing. Also, just on a super broad note, I think we can all agree that the world is changing rapidly and that robotics are becoming a foundation of what we do and how things are being done today. So our goal is also to have the maker community be a part of that change because you will either adapt and change or you get left behind. Now, on that note, 3D printing has been an amazing industry that has introduced so many of us to the creative world. Personally, I love 3D printing. We have 3D printers everywhere, and it's without a doubt that 3D printing has come far in the past decade. However, you can really only 3D print a Benchy so fast. Now, when I look over at the $200 Ender 3 3D printer there, that's like seven years old, it's kind of still printing the exact same stuff and the Benchy honestly doesn't look that much different. So, uh, you know, even the uh, resin printers over there, my Anycubic Photon, it, it might be five or 10 years old. The minis that are coming out of there don't look much different than the minis coming out of our brand new machines. 
And so this here, the goal with this is to bring something brand new to the makerspace that brings true function and unlimited potential to the community. It is a movement beyond the build plate, if you'll say. We should coin that. 401 bot movement beyond the build plate. Something like that. Now, this is just an introductory video. Obviously, I'm not showing too, too much here, uh, but we have been messing around with the 401 bot now for the last year, sort of. The prototypes have been up and running, and we've had to do everything from being our barista to a bartender if it's a long day at the office. We've had it doing pick and pack automation, uh, FDM and resin automation. We've had it painting, gluing, soldering, sanding, cutting, you name it, the 401 bot plus 3D printing, unlimited capabilities. So it's been a lot of fun creating this project and I hope you guys stick around. We'll show you a lot more on it too. I hope that makes sense. I hope you think it's cool. And if you're interested in seeing more, you can check out 401bot.com. We'll put a bunch of product information as well as some answers to the most common asked questions. And that's pretty much it. I will be posting a lot of videos on this channel coming up about the robot. And basically, if you're a maker of any kind, whether you have almost no or very little experience in 3D printing or robotics, or if you are a mechanical or robotics engineer, you're gonna love the project. It's gonna be awesome and we're gonna make incredible things together. We can't wait to see you there. So drop any comments or any feedback or anything that you have on this video and I'll try and respond to them all. See you guys in the next one.